the drive can be identified with a unique EtherCAT station alias or node address configured via the dials on the front of the KI Compact display. The station alias or node address setting configured using the KI Compact display is an 8-bit value or decimal 1 to 255. The most significant nibble is set by adjusting the top dial and the least significant nibble is set by the bottom dial. The configured station alias or node address will be set to the sum of the most significant nibble and the least significant nibble in decimal. As the dials are adjusted, each setting is shown on the display. Once the dials are set to the desired configurations, the display will confirm the dial settings in hexadecimal followed by the actual station alias or node address setting in decimal. The dial settings and station alias or node address settings are separated with a hyphen. Once the desired dial configurations have been set, the KI Compact Display will transfer the value to parameter 11017 keypad defined node address. For example, to set a node address of 55 via the display, set the most significant dial to 3 or decimal 48 and the least significant dial to 7, decimal 7. The station alias or node address can be configured from the rotary dials of the KI Compact display with no power applied to the drive, with the exception of zero value settings. Non-zero configured settings will then be transferred to the drive on the next power up. The KI Compact display can be installed or removed while the drive is powered. A delay of 10 seconds should be maintained following power up or following a dial adjustment before the compact display can be removed from the drive. This is to ensure the correct transfer of station alias or node address configuration data from the display to the drive. To install the KI remote keypad adapter, unclip and pull the display away from the front cover using a small terminal screwdriver. A slot in the drive plastic is provided for this purpose. The tether keeps the display associated to the drive. Align the remote keypad adapter with a display housing and install the remote keypad adapter over the display tether. Push the remote keypad adapter into the housing until it clicks into place. The remote keypad adapter can be removed by unclipping and pulling the adapter away from the front cover using a small terminal screwdriver. To reconnect the compact display, hinge the display upwards and click into position on the front of the drive. 